Hey there, neighbor. You're looking busy this morning. Look at this. This is a maple leaf. It came out of your yard. It's from a maple tree. I don't have any maple trees in listen, my yard. Listen, I've been raking all morning. You got a problem? I'll take care of it. Uh, listen, why don't you just go sit down and let me fix everything for you. You take it easy. I'm here to uh, take care of your problems. Whatever it is, I'll fix it for you. Go ahead. Go ahead. Go sit down. Let me do the work. I'll do all the work. The rescuers, like Mother Hen, rushing in to fix all of the little baby's problems. This approach says, in effect, I will do anything to keep you from being angry. Now you might think that that's pretty nice. You might think that that's going to take care of everything, but there are two big problems with this approach. The immediate problem is that it rewards the angry person for his or her immature behavior of blowing up in anger instead of coping with their frustration. Now we know that behavior that is rewarded will probably be repeated. So this approach has the effect of teaching the angry person to use anger more often to manipulate other people. The second problem with the rescuer style is that the rescuer will not be able to fix all of the problems that occur in the future. When that time comes, the angry person will be angry about two things, not just one. They'll be angry about the new problem, and they will be angry about the failure of the rescuer to fix the problem for them. If the first tantrum was bad, how good can a double tantrum be?